sir. I see that you received your plate. Uh, now it's done. Are you happy now? According to standard. Okay. And your presentation was? So what do you think? Good. You should have some little of the garnish. That's also very important to you just yeah. to bring out that uh, you just want to see that green color. Green color, you're right. Green. <laughs> <laughs> and sir, your steak? Super sauce. Yeah. It was excellent. Compliment to the chef. Yeah. Not and too rich, not yeah. too poor. Yeah. Excellent. I'm sure they're going to appreciate your comments. Yeah, yeah. But I'll leave you gentlemen to finish off and uh, enjoy your meal further. Thank you. Very Thank nice. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. The blue team has done very well, but the first round of orders, generally, uh, the guests seem happy with the, the service and the food that they got, except for this one table nearer to us where they got one of the steaks temperature wrong. That remains to be seen on how, you know, at the end it's going to affect how they vote. They're particularly happy with how Sipogazi was doing the sauce and the fact that she tasted the sauce. So on the red team side, all the guests seem to be pretty happy. You know, there's small comments on uh, how the tuna was seasoned, yeah. was slightly under seasoned and, and going to the bland side. It's just going to come down to small minor details that these guys now, it's a second round of orders, so now they need to get it, you know, um, right the first time. Would you like me to bring two onion rings to the table? Yeah, bring two onion rings. I'll do two onion rings. Yeah, sure. the one thing I noticed that you came with the menu and you went to individual person. You can't pass it over like that. So you did well. Made me feel like, okay, cool. We're halfway there. We, we, we're, you know, we're one step ahead of the blue team, maybe. Perfect, thank you. What made you get into the food and beverage? Um, I grew up with a mother who loved the kitchen. So I'm more into the flour. Oh, Japan. Yes, I'm, I'm baking bread and dumplings. Personally, I've never been a waitress, but I think it's true. You need to be a people's person. You need to be somebody who loves food. Like, if something is not right on the plate, you need to pick it up as soon as possible. Okay, thank you, guys. I'll be with you just now. Okay. Thank Anything you. else for you? Okay. okay. Okay, guys, get yourself ready. The it's tables fair. are getting cleared. Get yourself ready for the next wave of orders coming through. So it's three fillets. Two medium well, one fillet medium, one tuna medium well. One spinach, one butternut, two onions, okay. and one fries. Ian? Yes. I've got three fillets, two medium well and one medium. Two and I've got one well. butternut and one spinach. Yes, got chef. It. One butternut, one spinach. I know that I need to do is let it sit without moving it for, for a fair amount of time in order for it to get its grill marks. Yes, you usually want to be able to see, you know, a steak that's been well grilled on the grill if that's what they're ordering. Ian, can you give me a five minute call on the steak? I will try, eh? Okay? So okay. big, but I will. Penny? All right, so we've got two steaks that are medium. Okay, fish. Both just seared. Okay, and then sides. Roxy, you've got one, two onions. Yeah. Francois, you've got one butternut, one spinach. Having Penny on the pass is, is great. Um, she's a good leader. Um, she's got a strong voice, but a quiet voice. Can I do it my way in the pan and then in the oven? Let me give it like a quick sear so it gets like the marks on it. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Claire. I'm from the Reds team. I will be your waiter. I'm going to be the tuna. Okay. See it. See it. Ian, can I have a time call? Uh, Melissa, I must be honest, it's looking still like another five. Philippa? Five minutes. Five minutes. Thank you. Go. It's a different water relative to the temperature inside. Medium well, and I'm not sure how much more time it's going to need. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, one fillet medium with okay. onion and fries. Yes. Fillet medium well, onion and fries. It's the sauce for them to share. Okay. Tuna both well done. One with fries and spinach, and the one just with spinach. Cool. Thank you. How long do you guys think you guys are gonna be the table one? Ian, how are you on your sides? My, my butternut's almost there. I'm just gonna warm it up again. Okay, Ian, we're just waiting on you at the moment. Francois, how far with the first order? Five minutes, yeah. five Is to six minutes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we sorted. All right, next order, listen carefully. Roxy, we've got a fish just seared. Two of them, eh? Yeah. And then, uh, Francois, we've got one steak, medium rare. I'm getting ready to go out and make my pepper sauce, and I feel fantastic. Philippa. Are you making some nice mushroom sauce? You get some entertainment, eh? Yeah, yeah. 
the table next door worked out that this table, who I made the first sauce for, had over 200 years experience with the Gerardon trolley. And, um, but they were so sweet and so charming and so generous with their knowledge that they made it into a, a lesson. So you're going to apply that now? I am so going to apply that now. So you, you get the benefit. <laughs> Put a block of butter because it gives flavor to everything. Hey table, again I'm confident now, I can do this. And the guests, they are so lovely. You know that when you're doing this, you're showing off, it's entertainment. Yes. I you know, you got to be talk, <laughs> talk it through yes, and show your skills, yes, and engage your guests. Yes. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to put my onions in it. Francois? Yes. Uh, first order, how are we doing? Three minutes, Chef. I think what's quite difficult is not knowing what's going on outside and then trying to manage the kitchen as well. I think that's probably the most challenging now. The next step, I'm going to put my demi glaze. Yeah. So be careful, don't brand your eyebrows. <laughs> it's fine, that's I'll just paint what, them on with pencil. That's what the brandy does, eh? Um, in order to be medium rare, um, I need to get the interior um, temperature up to 55. So, probably another minute or two. Melissa, I'm going to need another four minutes. Four minutes, Ian. Standing in front of the Gerardin and knowing that your sauce is going to be completed in 30 seconds and not knowing whether there's a steak walking up behind you, that is very concerning. Are we nearly, are we nearly with the steak? We're ready. I'm ready. We were quite fortunate to have Philippa learning the timing on her sauce. So we actually got into quite a nice groove. Guys, sauce is ready for table one. Ian, I need your food. Yeah, I can't make the steak go any faster. Right now, I'm, I'm still feeling calm because there's nothing much I can do about speeding up the, the, the process. I'm not really interested in um, sending out a, you know, an undercooked steak. Ian, can we have a time call? Almost there, one minute. There you come, there you come. So I'm servicing my third table. Feels like they've waited quite a long time. And I know these guys are gonna be like, this is not the way you serve a table. Sorry for the wait, your fillet's on its way. Thank you. Guys, come on, the food's coming out too slow here. Okay. Coming behind hot. If one plate goes out and the rest of the diners have to wait for their food, you put the diners in an awkward situation. And they felt right, but um, yeah, we'll see. And it's look really well. Does it look good? I hope it tastes great. Not the perfect service, but the food was cooked perfectly, so I think they've well forgotten the one minute wait. Second order, how far? Francois, Tom? Um, four minutes. Four minutes. I think this order is going quite well. Touch <laughs> I'm going to put a touch of cream now. Yes. Just a touch, don't put too much cream. It's a touch. <laughs> yes, it's Pugas' touch. Ian, I've given five minute call for sauce. Okay, I think I'm alright. We're busy with our fourth order and I'm trying to get the things on the pass at the moment. Um, the tuna's done, Ian's busy with the steaks. At the moment, Sipokas is still busy with her sauce on the second table, so I'm waiting to go and serve the second one as soon as she's done. Tuna, well done. Thank you. Excuse the plate's a little bit hot. You know, well done. Excuse the plate. Thank you so much. I hope you're going to enjoy my pepper sauce. I'm Thank sure you very you much. I'm sure we will. Two sides, one steak. I'm doing my sauce and I'm enjoying it. It's a great learning experience. I'm loving it. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your meal. I'm sure you will. Thank you. Are we happy with the presentation? There's better presentation. Yeah. End of service, I think mostly it went well, but obviously it's difficult to tell. I think blue and red were pretty close, so we'll see. I'm hoping. <laughs> My team was 
absolutely phenomenal. I am so pleased. I knew that they were completely capable of doing what they were doing. Thank you so much for letting us serve you. It was an absolute privilege. I've learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed your, your meal. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We appreciate it. Well done to you guys. Teams worked really, really well, I think. Um, you know, Melissa's run the past exceptionally well. I think there's been a lot of communication. The front of houses seem to be going, and well, not that we're there to see it, but it seems to be quite calm. Paris, it's intimidating because now you're saving somebody who's got 30 years experience in the same restaurant, and now, hey, yeah, but they seem to be happy.